hello everyone welcome back to my channel happy tuesday so i have been holding out on this for a while so i am doing my first well actually second uh what do they call it mustang sorry for pronouncing it wrong um wendy's have this new um saucy nuggets i bought two separately but i you know shared it with my mom so uh it's a total of 10 so I have uh, five garlic parmesan and five barbecue. As you guys can see, so I'm going to give you guys my first reaction. And um, I also got me the pineapple mango by Wendy. So I'm going to let you guys know how all of it tastes. So if you guys want to see my reaction, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a taste test. So, first, we're going to do the barbecue. Okay. Pretty good. And I did get me some blue cheese. So, I'm going to see how it really tastes with blue cheese. Um... I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Well, you guys want to know about me. So, a lot of you guys was asking me what type of guy I am looking for. I want a guy that's really... How can I say it? Um, very handsome, of course. Um, have a nice smile, have a great sense of humor, down to earth, um, very charming, generous, and you know, kind, gratitude, and that know how to dress and wear his pants up. Mm. So good, guys. That's what I would say what I'm looking for in a guy that I will feel very attracted to. Um, nothing less than that. I want someone that's really respectful as well and protective of me, but not possessive. That's the difference. Um, but that's a gent I'm looking for a gentleman, a real man, very knowledgeable, very understanding, and um, intelligent. So that's what I'm looking for. That's um, one question you guys wanted to know. What I'm looking for in a guy. I'm gonna try to drink. Mm. Good. And the weather is so nice too. So we're gonna try the garlic parmesan, guys. We're gonna dip it in that blue cheese. That's good too. Mm. But everybody know. Saucy Eggs by Wendy's. They have, I think it's five. They have the ghost pepper. They have the hot, hot honey barbecue. Um, <clears throat> they have the buffalo honey barbecue and the garlic parmesan. But I didn't want nothing hot this time. Mmm. This <laughs> is so good. My next, the next question you guys want to ask me, or want to know about me. This is what you guys always wonder. At. Um, am I, am I like other influencers? <clears throat> excuse me, or what am I on this YouTube channel? Um, I'm gonna say this. On the YouTube channel, I really just want to be a really a positive influence um, on my channel. Um, I'm not trying to be like nobody else. I'm not trying to be uh, an influencer. I guess I just want to be mostly like a motivation to uh, young girls, young women, older women, you know, all over. Because I'm not trying to be like the YouTubers that's on here now. I'm really just focusing on what I can bring to the table. Um, the attraction you guys like for me, 
Um, you guys like when I do food reactions, being silly, or any type of video reaction, and doing my makeup, um, and lip combos. But I want to ship the... I want to ship it, you know, shift it a little bit because I want to show you guys I can do more, be more, and um, just, I guess, just be in my authentic self, and I'm not perfect. Like, I don't have no makeup on now, so I know I feel like a hot mess, but I want to come on and just tell you guys how I feel and um, just being a normal person. That's all I can say. So that's my question. My answer to that question is I'm not trying to be an influencer. I really just want to be a motivation person to help people. And also it's helping me because I'm getting to know myself, learning about myself more each and every day. So that's my second question. Now my third question. <clears throat> you guys want to know, will I date again? Um, I'm going to say this. Um, I will date, but I'm really not trying to focus on dating. I'm really just focusing on myself. Um, you know, my mental health, my physical health, my mental and my emotional health. Um, over the years, I have learned of me putting a lot of people first before myself. And that's why a lot of things didn't work out and went wrong because... I was putting people's needs before mine, and a lot of people didn't care how I felt or how I was feeling, and I never had a relationship, so I don't know how a relationship is. Um, i never been on a real date myself, because a lot of guys are cheap, and they just want one thing, and that's not what I want. I want more for myself, so that's why I kind of back away from dating, and it's just not what I'm looking for uh, with guys. Guys don't, don't know how to appreciate a real woman or treat her. You know, a lot of guys don't want to open doors. They don't want to, uh, you know, pick a place to eat, you know, say, I want to surprise you. I want you to try this restaurant. They have great food and I just want to see how you like it. Um, a lot of guys are cheap. And, you know, one thing they're not cheap about is, um, you know, smoking, and I don't want no guy like that, so, I just say, you know, I just, I don't want a guy that does not want to put effort in, I want a guy that is, I know it go on, on both sides, but for me, I feel like I had to fall back, because I got hurt and I wasn't being appreciated and a lot of guys just didn't know how to treat me or appreciate me so I just stopped and a lot of guys lie and want to be players so I had to let that go right away so <sighs> I'm just dating myself and everyone wanted to know also a lot of people didn't hear why did I start YouTube and why was it so beneficial for me? I started my YouTube channel back in October, October 5th of 2021. I was going through something at the time. I, I was laying right here on the floor, recorded myself, put it on my uh, channel. At the time, it was Aaliyah and Michael Jackson, um, you know, YouTube channel because I was obsessed with Aaliyah and my gosh I'm still am but that was the name that was my channel and um I already had you know a little followers at the time and then I started to come out of my shell I was scared I was saying all kind of things <laughs> crazy but I said you know what I have to do it because I feel like it was a sign from God because I always come home from work and watch YouTube. I used to watch Body by Kira, Corey Kenshin, 
um, digging her style, and it was some some more ladies that I used to watch. I can't think of their names right now, but um, they helped me a lot, especially learning about my hair, and also you know the gamer Corey Kenshin. Um, he just used to make me laugh with his face expressions, and it just made me feel like I was at home. So I took the initiative to start my own YouTube channel. And I just want it to be a positive one. I want it to be different. I know a lot of you guys want me to do fashion, but I just want to stick to reaction, motivation, and makeup looks at the moment and lip combos. Mm. It's so good, huh? Mm. Okay, then my final question. This is the fifth question. Um, do I find it hard to be creative or how do I find motivation to be creative on this channel? Um, I find it hard at times to be creative because I try to, I overthink and I try to do things differently that no one has never done before on YouTube. And it's a lot of competition. It's going to be competition everywhere you go, especially in the field of, you know, my niche, which is doing makeup. And I want to do things differently. I'm not trying to look at nobody else. I'm not trying to compete. Um, that's what I had to learn about my mental health, you know, over the weekend. Just, you know, relax. Um, just be you, do you, and spend time with family. Um, being creative is a process, and you have to learn. Um and is, is it going to be easy? It's not, to be honest with you. If you are going to try to be a content creator, being creative, it's not going to be easy because it's a lot of competition. You know, we have celebrities coming back over to YouTube. Um, most of them, or some of them, you know, they never had YouTube before are coming over here on the YouTube platform because it's hard to find jobs, right? And... That's what they said. They they predict that's the future. That a lot of people are gonna be working from home, and you know it's just it's just getting crazy out here. But um, back to the question, the creative process. It, it is hard and it takes time. And I love to be creative. I love to create, and it's not gonna stop me or slow me down because I'm still creating and I'm still here with you guys. This is the creating process now. I'm eating and talking, asking you guys questions. This was really good, you guys. I'm going to tell you guys which flavor that I really like the most. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would have to say the honey barbecue. I love honey barbecue because I'm a, I like sweet stuff. I, I need to stop. <laughs> the garlic is mostly like a cheesy-like type of smell. And, you know, I like barbecue. I love the sweet stuff. And um, my win is the barbecue. So... Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this um, Wendy's Saucy Nuggets review and my Q&A questions. I asked her five questions for you guys, and I hope you guys did enjoy and like them a lot. Um, I would definitely have to do this again. Um, it's been a minute because I did Zaxby's. I used to be crazy about Zaxby's, but I'm not crazy anymore about it. But I would definitely do another um, if you guys want me to do another food reaction, I will. But um, this was really good. I really did enjoy. The barbecue is my mostly all-time favorite. So you guys, go try out Wendy's Saucy Eggs. 
and you guys oh saucy nuggets i'm sorry saucy nuggets and you guys tell me which flavor do you like is it the buffalo the ghost peppers or the hot um barbecue or the regular barbecue honey barbecue or the garlic parmesan all right guys um if you guys want to see more of my uh food reactions Click here and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.